interview. Hey everybody, Sean McInnes here alongside Joe Tung from Bungie, who's here to answer a few questions about Halo Reach. Joe, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me. So Joe, it's been a while now since, uh, since E3, and you guys unveiled uh, something new at the show. It was uh, Space Combat, a first for Halo for the Halo series. Can you talk about what sort of reactions you were expecting to get for that demo versus uh, what you got? Uh, we, we specifically chose Space Combat uh, because it is uh, a brand new thing that we've that we've added into Halo Reach and uh, the response was great. People were, were really excited about uh, Space Combat. I think they're really anticipating uh, what it's going to feel like to, to fly a spacecraft in Halo Reach and that's exactly what we're looking for. And you know, it seems like that E3 demo that you showed off was sort of the appetizer to the demo that you guys showed today. It was two very extensive, um, extensive uh, missions from the game. It was one called Nightfall and one called Tip of the Spear. Nightfall, I noticed, seemed a little bit darker, a little bit more subdued than the typical Halo experience. Is that something that you guys are really aiming for with this game? Well, I mean, from the very beginning, we knew that we wanted to make a, a, a darker game in general. I mean, we've, we've sort of said from the beginning that uh, fans of the fiction will know sort of the end of the story. Uh, and, and so Halo Reach is definitely a darker take on the universe than, than you've seen before. Um, but as far as sort of the, the progression of missions, you played Nightfall, it's sort of uh, it's nighttime sniper mission, and it rolls right into Tip of the Spear, which is... Uh, uh, big vehicle combat, uh, much larger scale battles than you've ever seen before in a Halo game. And, and, and that's just sort of uh, an example of the focus that we, we put into pacing the game. Um, we definitely wanted to, to sort of start out that uh, nightfall on a, on a sort of quiet note, uh, give you a really awesome sniping experience, and then uh, come right back at you with the, the big vehicle combat in, in Tip of the Spear. So uh, hopefully that came across. Can you talk to us about some of the, the faces in the game? Uh, in Nightfall, you were playing alongside Cat, and then at Tip of the Spear, you were alongside George. Two kind of different personalities, I noticed. Sure, yeah. Well, uh, you're actually uh, fighting next to June in Nightfall. Uh, he's sort of the sniper uh, of the bunch, uh, uh, sort of chats in your ear uh, over the comms while, while you're sniping. It's a, it's a really nice, uh, nice character to fight alongside in the sniper mission. Uh, in uh, Tip of the Spear, you actually start out with Kat. Um, Kat's sort of second in command of Noble Team. Uh, she's very recognizable with her sort of robotic arm, uh, and she's sort of the tactician of the bunch. You eventually hook up with George. He's the, the big heavy gunner. Uh, he's the only Spartan two of the bunch, so he's actually about a, a foot taller than the rest of the Spartans, and you know he's the guy who you're going to sort of see lumbering around with the giant Gatling gun in the game. Now I imagine it's probably a lot easier in terms of story and characters to introduce a lot of new elements in there, but the gameplay, I'm sure you don't want to mess around too much with that because you guys found a great formula early on and you have a lot of rabid fans out there who don't want you to reinvent the wheel. Can you talk about how you guys have gone about finding the right balance there in terms of the, in terms of the basic gameplay, you know, introducing new elements into it to add some flavor while still maintaining what makes Halo Halo? Sure, yeah, we, we absolutely talk a lot about, you know, uh, the, the, the delicate balance of uh, pushing the envelope as far as you can to, when you ship a new game uh, and, and preserving the core of what makes Halo, Halo. And uh, it's, it's really difficult. Uh, you know, if you, if you touch even the smallest thing in Halo, um, chances are it was, it was sacred to someone and, and they actually loved that aspect of the game. Um, and so I think uh, on Reach, we did a really great job of, of uh, frankly, pushing the envelope uh, on, on gameplay uh, in multiplayer, you've got and multiplayer firefight and campaign, you've got the deep integration of armor abilities, uh, you've got loadouts in, in multiplayer and firefight, uh, and, and those things uh, sort of fundamentally change the way that you play the game. At the same time, um, it, it just complements the, the tripod, you know, melee, uh, grenades, and your weapon. Uh, and so it, it, it just harmonizes really well and I think uh, I think uh, we, we made sure we tested it very carefully in the beta and uh, hopefully it turns out good. So uh, the last question I've got for you is co-op. We definitely can't leave that one out. You've been doing that for a few games now but it was in ODST where you introduced Firefight for the first time. Has anything sort of rubbed off in terms of you know lessons you learned from Firefight implementing that in the campaign co-op? Well I think uh, I think uh, just in terms of raw scale this is this is the first time we've ever had everything under one roof. You've got campaign, you've got uh, four-player co-op supported as always in campaign, you've got firefight with a bunch of new modes and, and an insane set of options. 
got competitive multiplayer uh, with invasion, uh, with loadouts. Uh, you guys are about to see some crazy stuff in Forge as well. Um, and that's the first time we've ever put all of that into one box. So um, absolutely, we, we learned stuff from the past, but uh, uh, you know, I think you're, you're seeing the culmination of uh, a very experienced team that created Halo and, and spent 10 years making Halo games. And it's, this is it, this is the culmination of that experience. All right, and when is that culmination gonna be available in stores, Joe? Halo Reach hits uh, September 14th. Thanks a lot for your time. Thank you. There you guys have it. That's your look at Halo Reach for today. Stay tuned for more coverage.